In this video, I'm going to try to explain real quickly the European explorers during the Age of Exploration. The first is Prince Henry the Navigator. Decades ahead of the real Age of Exploration and the time period we'll be looking at is Prince Henry from Portugal, a sailor in his youth who used his wild adventures to sail around the western coast of Africa. He started logging detailed maps to help future sailors. And when Prince Henry returns to Portugal in a leadership role, he continues the drive and the, and the funding for more exploration around Africa to continue looking for wild riches. The next guy is also from Portugal. His name is Bartholomew Diaz. He will successfully sail all the way around the southern tip of South Africa. Because the Portuguese seemed to have a control on sailing around Africa to get to Indian Ocean trade routes in the trade networks of East Asia, the Spanish decide that they're going to hire a gentleman named Christopher Columbus to find another route, a westward route, to East Asia. Little did they know that when he would sail west, he wouldn't discover East Asia, he would discover a whole new set of lands with all new markets, raw materials, gold and silver. Christopher Columbus an Italian merchant sailing for the Spanish will inevitably discover the New World. Next we're going to have Vasco da Gama. Because of the Treaty of Tordesilla, the Portuguese were not given rights to continue going westward like the Spanish were in seeking new markets, so they focused their attention around Africa and India. Vasco da Gama will successfully travel around the southern tip of Africa and then cutting across the Indian Ocean to Calicut, India. Pedro Cabral, another Spanish explorer, will establish the only major Portuguese site in the Americas. Because the Treaty of Tordesillas allows for part of the eastern half of the South American continent to be under Portuguese control, Pedro Cabral, in an attempt to sail along the massive trade routes to Asia, will, along his journey, establish a trade post for the Portuguese in modern-day Brazil. The Spanish will follow Christopher Columbus's route through the Caribbean, and from there, Hernando Cortez will strike land in Central America. He will be the Spanish conquistador who is responsible for the demise of the Aztec Empire. Shortly after Hernando Cortez is discovering and colonizing Central America, another Spanish explorer, well, actually he's Portuguese sailing for the Spanish, is given the task to try to sail all the way around the world. The Spanish have not yet given up on the idea of sailing west to reach Asia. Ferdinand Magellan's story is fascinating. He started with five ships sailing around the southernmost point of South America, one of the most dangerous waters in the world. It will be named the Strait of Magellan after him. And from there, he sails a very, very long, dangerous journey across the Pacific Ocean until he lands in the Pacific. Here, when he gets to the Philippines, he gets himself involved in a local war, and while he's there, he's killed in battle. So his brother-in-law, Sebastian Del Cano, will end up having to finish the voyage for him from the Philippines back to Europe. Although the credit for the first person to travel all the way around the world, that circumnavigate, goes to Ferdinand Magellan. Francisco Pizarro, a Spanish explorer, he will be the one who discovers the Incan civilization. He will cross over the Panama region of Central America, and then he will take his explorers into South America, and he is credited with the demise of the Incan Empire. The Spanish and the Portuguese weren't the only ones exploring, although they were the first and had the most outposts by the beginning. But the French and Spanish will join the game too. The one for France we need to know is Jacques Cartier. He's the French explorer who will sail along the St. Lawrence River and establish the French colony in eastern Canada. Francis Drake is an English explorer. Um, he was also a bit of a pirate and a bit of a risk taker. He's hired by Queen Elizabeth to follow along the Spanish routes. His official mission was to circumnavigate the world for England, and he will be the first English sailor to sail around the world although his unofficial job was to go around to the Spanish ports and try to pirate the Spanish gold. Um, you can see this in evidence of the route. 
If you were to flip back to the previous video about Ferdinand Magellan, you will see that their route is very similar, except Francis Drake continues along the coastline, seeking these Spanish ports, seeking opportunities to take Spanish gold. Another important thing about Sir Francis Drake will be his attachment to the Spanish Armada, because the English and the Spanish had always been enemies, and it didn't make it any better with this trip around the world. The Spanish Armada, the great naval fleet, will try to attack the English. Sir Francis Drake successfully helps the English defeat the Spanish Armada, a major blow to Spain.